Starship closed 2025 on October 13th with its 11th test flight from Starbase in Texas. The booster splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico after a controlled descent, and the ship ended the mission in the Indian Ocean after engine relight and heat shield tests. NASA still pegs the first Artemis III crewed lunar landing for no earlier than 2027, which puts pressure on SpaceX to accelerate milestones. So when does Flight 12 actually happen? A Flight 11 delivered concrete data that SpaceX needed. The mission launched at 6.23 p.m. CT, sent a batch of mass simulators, relit engines in space, tested new thermal protection, and executed planned splashdowns that preserved telemetry across entry, descent, and landing. SpaceX called the flight a step toward an upgraded prototype with hardware tailored for orbital refueling and docking. And the next campaign shifts to a new hardware class. SpaceX retires the Block 2 booster and pivots to Block 3, which brings higher thrust, structural refinements such as modified grid fins, and a slightly taller, fully stacked vehicle at about 124.4 meters. This is the configuration expected to carry the lunar variant forward. Now, scheduling remains the first practical question. SpaceX has not posted a target for Flight 12, and early 2026 now looks more realistic than any remaining 2025 window. And the company also plans to bring up a second launch site at Kennedy Space Center to support a push toward roughly bi-weekly flights once the new pad and ground systems are ready. Now, the 11th flight wrapped SpaceX's 2025 Starship test slate and cleared the decks for the bigger upgrade. Coverage of the program framed the transition as a move toward ship version 3 that stretches capability and increases payload. The year-end handoff focuses engineering efforts on in-orbit refueling, docking systems, and higher cadence production runs. And refueling sits at the center of the lunar plan. SpaceX and NASA need an on-orbit transfer between two starships that moves hundreds of tons of super-cooled propellant, a maneuver no one has ever executed before. SpaceX and NASA point to a refueling demo next year as a gating item for the Artemis III timeline. Now, test count matters because the crewed mission date sits on the far side of several unproven operations. Estimates in European policy circles put the need at roughly 10 to 20 more Starship's tests before cruise board, assuming nominal outcomes without long investigative processes. Now, that cadence only becomes plausible if Flight 12 starts the 2026 run early, and the ground teams turn vehicles around without a major rework. Orbit remains another clear threshold. Starship has reached space, but has not completed a full Earth orbit, which means the program still must prove orbital performance, controlled deorbiting, and recovery logistics at scale. Flight 12 holds value if it either hits orbit or rehearses the specific sequencing for the refueling demo and hardware scope widen as SpaceX prepares the Florida site. The company is building out Kennedy infrastructure to split operations across Texas and Florida, which reduces weather and range risk and supports higher cadence once the Florida pad goes online. The dual pad approach also creates a practical path for tanker and lander launches that must rendezvous on a tight timeline. Mission architecture ties these pieces together for Artemis 3. NASA plans to send astronauts to lunar orbit on Orion and SLS, then transfer the crew to a lunar-optimized starship for the descent to the surface. That transfer requires mature docking, life support on the lander, and a refueled starship waiting on station. Program risk remains manageable if SpaceX locks in a repeatable rhythm. The 11th flight proved water landings for both stages, engine relight, and heat shield upgrades under real condition, which reduces unknowns for Block 3. The next step converts those discrete checks into a system-level demonstration of orbit, docking hardware, and propellant transfer. Now, a successful Flight 12, an operational Florida pad, and a refueling demo would put Artemis 3 
back on a credible path towards a 2027 attempt. Missed cadence or partial demos would push the schedule while competitors add pressure from below. Flight 12 is very important because it starts the Block 3 era and sets up the refueling demo that Artemis 3 timeline needs.